Hi, and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In today's video for WordPress, we're going to be taking WooCommerce one step further than we've covered in the past. Now, we've looked at things like variations for your products. This time, we're going to be looking specifically at grouping products. Now, this is a great way if you like to create a grouped set of products that you can let the end user pick and choose what they want. This then creates a kind of custom package that they can purchase at the set price. So we're going to take a look at how all of that is done in this video. So I'd just like to say that this video is sponsored by those lovely people over at TemplateMonster.com. If you're looking for great looking WordPress themes, check the website out. They have a ton of different options available that should suit your needs. Now, before we go any further, I just want to say that throughout this video, I am going to be using one of their commercial themes as a backdrop for this video tutorial. We're going to be using specifically the Monstroid 2 theme. So if you like the look of that, or you want to just check out templatemonster.com, all the links are in the description below. So without further ado, let's take a look at how we can create group products inside WooCommerce from start to finish. So we've gone ahead and loaded up WordPress and we're in the admin section. We're ready to now start adding our product in there. So I've jumped over to the product section and what I'm going to do is click on add new and that takes us through. We can start creating our first product. Now the first product is going to be the group. Now there's a couple of things that are slightly different with this. And as I go through, I'm just going to explain what they are. So the first thing we're going to do is create the name for our group product. And we're just going to call this group product one, just so we know where it is. I'm going to specify this is music and it's albums, and we've got that sort of set up. So nothing unusual so far. We're going to come down, we're going to set our product image, and we're just going to go through and find an image that's relevant to this. Because this is going to be a group, I want to sort of differentiate it from the individual products. So I'm going to choose this red one, and we're going to click on set product image. And now we're going to come down to the product data section. Now you can see simple product is default and we've already covered simple products and variable products in previous videos. And I'll put a link to those in the description below so you can check those out if you haven't seen those. But what we're going to do is we're going to click on here and you can see we've got four options available for the type of product. We're interested in group product. I'm going to click on there and you can see now the options change because we selected group product. You can see we no longer have the option to add a price in there because the group product is basically just a container for the individual products and the individual products will have a price associated with them. So let's give it an SKU code just to differentiate this and we're just going to call this group 001. Stock status, we're going to say it's in stock. You can see we've got linked products. If we open that up, you can see we've got the normal upsells and cross sells. We now have an option for grouped products. At, the po at this point, we can't actually use that because we haven't created our individual child products. So we're going to create this group, jump back out, and then we're going to create the individual products and then come back into this and add those in later. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is just give this a description. So I'm simply just going to paste some text in there and we're going to click on publish. So that's our group product created. So now we're ready to go through and create the individual child products. So again, we're just going to hit add new. And once that's done, we're going to come in and we're going to call this the first product we're going to give this. And we're going to call this single one. We're going to come over. We're going to specify this is a single and it's music. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down and choose a product image for this one as well. And we're going to do the same kind of thing. We'll scroll through and find an image we want to use. And for this example, we're just going to use the picture of a single on its own. Click on set product. Now we can give that a price. So we're going to call this and we're going to give it one pound. We can control inventory if we want to and shipping and so on. But we're going to leave those as they are. We're just going to concentrate on our grouping works. We've covered all these things in the individual products covered in a previous video. OK, so we're going to set the price on there. If I want to, I can proper description and I'm going to leave that blank for now. But the thing that is important at this point is that I don't want these grouped products to be displayed as individual products in our ordinary product listings. In other words, I want them to be invisible in the normal listing of our shop and only be visible inside the grouped product. So to do that, we simply come up to this top right hand corner under publish and you can see we've got catalog visibility. If we click on there, we've got the option to choose hidden. So that'll hide it from normal view and from the search, but it still will be available inside our group. So once we've done that and we've got everything set, we're going to click on publish and that will now save that out and we've created our first product. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to click on add new. We're going to call this single two. All the same options again. So we're going to set to be hidden. 
We're going to set this to be music and singles. We're going to give this a price of two pounds this time. And we're going to come down and choose a different product image for this one. So we've got a differentiator if anyone's looking at the shopping cart, just so we can have a visual representation. And then we'll go for this one. Set our product and we're good to go. All we need to do now is click on publish and that's our second product created. So now we've created both of our products. We're going to jump back over to our all product listing. I'm going to come into a grouped product. So we're going to come back in and we're going to specify now what products are grouped inside this. So you're going to come down to link products like I just shown you. And when we've got grouped products, we're going to start typing in single. That'll go through our database and search. We're going to say we're going to have single one and we'll do the same again and we'll have single two. And there we go. So once we've done that, we can click update and that will now associate those single one and single two into our group product. So we've done that. We're going to jump over to the shop now and take a look at this in action. Okay, so now we're looking at the front end. So you can see this is our shop all set up inside the Monstroid 2 theme. Now you can take a look. You can see we've got a product that says add to basket and our new grouped product has view products. So we have a different option associated with that. So we can now click on view products. That'll take us through and we can choose what product options and quantities we want from the grouped products. So let's try adding a couple of products to our basket. Let's just say we want to have two copies of single two and we'll have three copies of single one. Click add to basket. And once that's been done, our basket will be filled up with the different product options we wanted. So if we come over to our shopping cart and take a look in there and let's go and view our basket. We'll now see that we have all those different options we've chosen. So you can see we've got two copies of single two, three copies of single one. It's totaled everything up and give us our subtotal and our overall total based upon the quantities of those product options we've chosen. And that's the basics of working with group products inside WooCommerce. As you can see, it's an easy way of grouping your products together and allowing the end user to choose the quantity of any of the products grouped together and adding them to their basket. Now, obviously, there are additional options you could take a look at, like variations and so on. But for this video, I just wanted to take you through the basics to show you how quick and easy it is to create those groupings. Okay, so that wraps up this week's video on WooCommerce for WordPress. I hope you found what we've covered in this video useful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and smash that like button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. If you need comments, questions, or feedback on this video or anything else we cover on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. And until next time, take care.